testing. Mmm, testing. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Mmm, testing. This is uh, me, Tubbs and Alex here today. We're missing the other two, so... Just Sorry. Us. Yeah. <laughs> they don't apologise, so we will do it in their place. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing the Crimson Invasion Pokemon set. The newest one to come out. So thank you, Poker Beach, for the information, because we're going <laughs> to basically steal it from you, which is great. So, yeah, at thanks, we've, guys. We've got, the, we've got their logo yeah, right at the top yeah, look, there. We've, we've there given you, you some uh, coverage there. We, we won't just steal it blazingly. We'll, we'll tell you where we got it from. <laughs> right, let's start off with this Weedle line. It's terrible. Which it's I'm pretty sure. All it does is evolve, let's be honest. So instantly we go check the Beedrill. Beedrill, 120 HP... Two attacks, both for one grass. Sudden stab, ten damage. If it evolved from Cocoon during this turn, it's now paralyzed and poisoned. It's cheap. It's actually funny. It's not bad. It's poison. Paralyzed is always good. Cocoon is interesting. Actually, it's got multiply. It's like uh, what's the other thing? The water thing. The frogadier. That's it. It's yeah, like yeah. frogadier. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be good. You can swarm. It might be better to play it with the other bee drill. Also, there's the bee drill that does. Uh, was it forty times snipe for each bee drill in play? Oh, that's very true, yeah. That could make the Evolutions one quite yeah, viable. because this one's terrible. Yeah. It's all right, it's funny, but it's terrible. Beedrills all have free retreat. That's just their thing. Yeah. Uh, sudden stab of 10 damage is just it's meh, not it? good. You it's can't meh. cycle it, and even if you are cycling it for like 10 turns, you've done 100. Even the Survivor only goes up to 50 and paralysed, doesn't it? It's about all you can do in terms of, I suppose, in a choice band is 8, and it's a yeah. little bit pants. So we'll we'll just ignore that for now. Uh, to execute, uh, we're only pretty sure that evolves into Executor, so we'll skip that. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, Cacturn, 30 damage, opponent has damage counters on it, it does 60 more. Okay. It does 90 for one. 90 for a grass, is alright. It's a shame we don't have bats, well, we have gold bat, but not bat luck. It's, Crow a, bat anymore. it's a shame as well the uh, evolutions are out of rotation for standard to type change. That's true. Swinging for 180 would be nice. I mean, what's that, 120 band. with a band? Band on 20, double to 240 with a weakness. Kills anything that's weak to grass, fire, lightning and water. Yeah, best I can format is still Guardi though, which is not weak to any of those uh, things. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it could, mm. uh, could be viable one day. Yeah, it might be interesting and expanded or something, but it's not that viable right now. I'm actually quite interested in this Carrier Blast because his ability is really cool. So like once you're in turn, you may discard a shell map from your hand if you do search a deck for a card from Evolve from that's Carrier Blast. Evolve cool. it. What's it evolve into? It evolves into its oh, Scavalier, okay. which is down. Oh, a bit. okay. Metal so you, type? Metal type, yeah. Oh, so you, you discard the shell on okay. it in order to evolve itself, which I think is really cool. That's quite neat. You can do that turn one, can't you? It's something different, isn't it? Yeah, if the, if the Excavalier's got a cheap attack energy wise, it could be good. If metal's so good against Guardi, which we just talked about, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Selgor discard an energy heal all damage from it. It's got 90 HP, so you're never going to be able to that's heal not it anyway. Gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow tracks bit pants. Uh, go goat ability. This Pokemon's attack oh. needs eighty more damage to grass Pokemon. That's pretty neat. So that's one ninety with a band to any grass EX or GX. Yeah, shame it's attacks a bit expensive, and there are no really big grass decks right now, are there? Uh, you got Bulu. Oh yeah, yeah. It it's a little one shot of Bulu with a band on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Bulu's gonna one shot you without discard. Uh, yeah, without, without discarding discard. energy. So that kind of sucks. And it's stage one. Needs three energy, not worth the effort. So there's not a lot of good grass types here. No. So, like really. you say, there's only Bulu. So. Cat turn I'm most excited about. Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> uh, going down. A Lola Marowak for zero three energy. Attack. Yes. So each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, in play I should assume, uh, attach a fire energy from your discard to your, from your discard this... pile to your, oh, your Pokemon anyway. Like. Yeah. Oh, cool. So if they've got ten energy out, you search your discard pile for ten energy and attach them to your Pokemon anyway you like for free. Oh, because that's for each energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Oh. So that's kind of a cool little thing that fire decks have now, but it's a shame it's a stage one. Yeah. And it's other attacks, pretty pants as well. If either of them are heads, then I'll burn, though. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah. So but if you flip double tails, it absolutely does absolutely nothing. <laughs> but even, even the first attack's only good against what, like, maybe Guardian, Kiyama, Volcanian things. Yeah. That's about it, isn't it? Nothing else gets that much energy on field right now. Oh, going down to normal camera up. They both have continuous headbutt. One Brilliant. does 30 for every head, one does 80. 
And yeah, then one twenty and burned. So that's really expensive as well. It's expensive for competitive, but think about pre releases. Mm. Camera is insane in pre releases. Assuming you keep flipping heads, of course. You can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 140 HP is enough to scoff at pre release as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, pre release is alright, isn't it? Not many fire types in this set either. Well, there's three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three. Oh boy. Uh, start your evolutions with Starmie, so we'll have a look at that. Once you're in turn, you may shuffle this Pokemon cards to touch it into your deck. Brilliant. Why would there's you want to do be, that? There's got to be something good with that. Get you a bench slot. <laughs> um, <laughs> that seems so bad. <laughs> well, evolve all the way to Stammy and then put it back just to give yourself a bench slot. <laughs> even worse than the wishy washy, but it just, oh, pick it up. <laughs> or was it pick it up or was it stick it in the deck? Uh, wishy washy is pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Great. You could have used like the old uh, low punny, put it to hand. If yeah, I had a function with like Kyogre or something to reattach the energy, yeah. you'd at least find a use for that. It's, Why it's would you terrible. want to put it in the deck? That's enough talk about this rubbish card. Okay. <laughs> you, I suppose it stops you from de- it stops you from deck out. <laughs> it beats Mill. Starmie beats Mill. That that you is got it. Quad Starmie to beat Mill. But you've got to always draw the Starry before you draw the Starmie. You draw them the wrong <laughs> yeah. way around. That's game over. Uh, Magic Carp <laughs> ability submerge prevent all damage to it while it's on the bench. That's quite cool. That'd been really handy about. Three or four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> a bit late now. Poor old Alex Dow. <laughs> uh, going to the Gyarados GX. Uh, watercolourless, colourless, semi damage. That's pretty subpar. That's a bit meh. Watercolourless, colourless, colourless, colourless. 100 damage. If there's any stadium in play, discard it and it does 100 more. So it's like a really, really expensive Groudon. The, uh, I suppose the only real way you're going to get that on is like Shining Mew or something in it. I've seen... Uh, a couple of people theorising it online is that, like you can attach a water and then key our way but the problem is you have to key, <laughs> you have to key our way to a magic up you have to key our way to a 30 HP magic up why would you want to key and our hope way they to can't us? kill it that's awful I suppose it, they can't hit it on the bench right yeah great then if the Starmie's active you can shuffle a Starmie <laughs> and that's almost like free retreat it's like that's the dream <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, GX is pretty cool. One water to an energy attached to all their Pokemon. That's quite neat. What really spreads their energy out though? Uh, Xerneas. Yes. That, oh, how brutal would that be? <laughs> That'd be nice. Hey, you just geomancy'd buy. I don't think it's going to be that effective again as much though. On the Xerneas and maybe like. Oh no, it has its niche uses, but I don't yeah. think it's. It's got 240 HP as well, that's pretty good. That's right for a stage one, isn't it? It's a shame that um, if you have, if you, well, That's if you, if they have Potown in play and then do SB on EX, they just kill it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> they have no spread required. <laughs> so oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it looks cool though. It's nice artwork, actually, isn't it? Uh, Gyarados has always looked cool. Mm, yeah. But oh, I wonder what the full art looks like. We'll find out later. It doesn't ever close its mouth, does it? No. <laughs> Important uh, information brought to you here. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, this does not close its mouth. <laughs> uh, Swinob, Pillarswine, Mamoswine. Uh, the other two it's just not DC evolve. on Swinob for 30. That's not bad on a basic. 60 HP as well. It's, it's got not three awful. retreat. Just don't retreat it. It's fine. Uh, Mamoswine, the Pillarswine's rest, four colourless, heal 90 damage from it. <laughs> <laughs> God, he smacks it for 120. So you're never going to be able to heal 90. So bad. 150 And it's now asleep. Gardy. That's awful. Terrible. Oh, it's asleep as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Mamoswine has 180 HP, which is pretty cool. Uh, double stomp, 60 damage, 30 more for every head, so up to two coin flips. Not exciting. 90 damage, you may move... You may put up to nine damage counts on this Pokemon and attack to 10 more for each damage count you placed in this way. So you can half kill it in order to do 180 for four. That's... No. <laughs> no. God, where, where, I can't... There think, is no use no, for that. Why would why would you ever pick this up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, at least it's a rare, so, so it's just like bulk rates. Yes, you just won't get it, hopefully. <laughs> that's a bad rare pull. Uh, Remoraid, there's no reason to use no. this one over the one we already have. Walk on 30, nothing good. Uh, Considery Ink Spit, if the Dungeon Fungal tries to attack, flips the tail, it does nothing. So that's it's a really, sand attack. Yeah, sand attack with no damage. Rubbish. Special artillery, 40 damage. You may discard a special energy from this Pokemon. If you do, it does Ooh, 80 more. That's 120 for water colour, this. But the only special water has a splash, and you never want to discard that. <laughs> Put a DCE on it, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, if they reprint Cyclone energy, that could be quite cool. 
Attach it could be called energy, energy. Yeah, it could be called make them energy. switch, whack it for 120, 150 with the band. Doesn't really work with warp energy, that burns bit pants. <laughs> you attach it ready to attack. Oh, it's to the bench. Oh, it's on the bench. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a pistol hand artillery is still better. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, Corfish, water, water, 30 damage. Crawdorn, water, water, colourless. No, sorry, water, 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 colourless. 80 damage, discard 2 energy from your opponent's active. Oh, that's actually pretty that's cool. That's really cool. That's just so expensive. Discard 2 energy from their active. That's, that's, oh, that's brutal. I like the other colour too, actually. He's alright, isn't he? Crawdorn's usually dark type, so interesting to see. There haven't been that many dark type crawlants, have there? Historically, I've always water, but I don't know. I think there's... the EX was water back in the day, wasn't it? The EX was definitely water, yeah. yeah. In, what was it, I don't know, Fire Red Leaf Green or something, wasn't it? It was around that era. Yeah. Uh, feedback Splashing Dodge, 10 damage, for coin of head, sprint, all of that, and damage. Okay, so that's the uh, defense curl. Yeah. Yeah, so the, okay, the Magic yeah. Carbon Feedbacks are actually damage. protecting themselves this set, yeah. so that's pretty cool. It also looks dopey as oh. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, he's so going to kill me for that. Oh, God. I like the artwork on the Melotic, though. Melotic's cool. Yeah, let's have a look at that. That's going to be a yeah. nice hollow. But yeah, I'm not, you can see it's hollow, can't you? Well, yeah, but it's going to be a nice looking hollow. Its attack is called TLC. Shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's any damage counters on it. And attack... Okay. Mm-hmm. So you could... Oh, you play with Potan and just constantly shuffle them in. Oh, it's like, do some kind of spread and then if something turns nasty, it's like, bye! But uh, unlike Happy Finny GX, they don't have to have... It, it could be the only Pokemon in yeah. play. But it's got to be a benched Pokemon. Oh, okay. Oh, that sucks. Wrecked. I was alright, you just, uh, you know, I don't know. Well, you just, it's only for water though, and you can use it as much as you like, so. Yeah. You give them the really good thing to the bench, and then just tell it to bugger off, really. Yeah. So, Ocean Cyclone <laughs> 80 like does 10 damage each of your opponent's bench. Burger. Okay, so that oh, works well with the first attack, works. but it's mm. just incredibly expensive. Well, I'd play it just for the first attack. That's neat. Uh, Regice. So, in this set, the Regis have like a synergy effect. So, the ability on this one is if you have Regirock in play. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent at stage 2. So if Red Rock in play, then Guardi, Metagross, can't attack you. What else is stage 2 meta? Mm, that's about it, really, isn't it? Vika Vault. Yeah, that can't hit If it. you somehow, they prize all their Bulus. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's cool. got some niche issues, isn't it? Yeah. If stage what, two's what pre- is he, look a bit get bigger or whatever, then you know it's all right. One hundred thirty HP still pretty good for basic, yeah. Uh, Shellos is just another common you'll see in the set. What's it? Uh, what's it evolve into? It evolves into something, doesn't it? Gastrodon, which I assume will be fighting type of set if it's even in the set. I really like how they done him in the. Uh, I don't know. There's one expansion. There's West Sea and East Sea for each color, weren't there? That was cool. Yeah, I can't remember. I think East Sea is blue. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu, Pika draw, draw a card. I like that. You never That's play cool. this one because there's a promo with 70 HP. I'd play it because you have to draw a card. Look at the chubby ears, though. <laughs> it's got a really fat head. <laughs> There's something wrong with it's it. His eyes are so far down it's his like, head. Uh, it's like, uh, what's that guy? Arnold. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a football shaped head. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Jesus. I quite like the Legend Raichu. Oh, it's a Lolan Raichu. If there's any stadium in play, it has no retreat cost. Be. Why and is it still lightning type? I'm disappointed. It's a uh, dual lightning psychic of the games. So it'll probably be a psychic one soon. It better be. Uh, 70 damage, 20 more for every energy attached to your opponent's active. It's a bit expensive yeah. for what it is. It's three oh, colours. It's, got, it's got a psychic type attack, but it's still lightning type. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look. I think, we found, I think we found Humphreys in a card. Look at that face. Oh, God. He's just like... Oh, that is a face he's of disapproval. Dis- he's disapproved. That's like you've just crawled out of your cave, <laughs> someone's done something stupid, you shake your head and just go back in. It's just... It's not worth the effort. Someone's wrote their deck list wrong on League Challenge oh, Day. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he comes along, looks at you like that. It's a 65 card deck. <laughs> well done, Daniel. <laughs> uh, defence curl... Okay, it's literally what we just Six, said. It's like the odd card out. I can, but sixty-five. You've got some real effort to <laughs> not count that. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> uh, we basically just look at Alolan Geodude and Graveler to evolve into Alolan Golem GX, which is down here. He looked cool. That is it, cool. It's a cool hell. artwork. It's a thing out of its back. Is he just got it's a cannon? Shoot, now? He's shooting rockets out of his back. 
All right, I'm up for that. He's got a moustache. It's Mario Golem. It's a loading golem. It's Mario Golem. <laughs> it's like Bowser and Mario had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> the attacks are expensive, what they do? Uh, Lightning Colors Colors 80, so that's exactly like Gyarados GX, but for 10 more. It's still bad. Uh, lightning, Lightning, Colorless Colors, Super Electromagnetic Tackle, 200, and it does 50 to itself. Right. Suicide. Brilliant. It's got 250 HP, so... Ooh, well, not once you've attacked with it. What was that? Uh, the it's um, a lot of health, actually. The is it every light back in the day, where it's like if you did damage to yourself with Zekrom, it reduced it by twenty for basics. If you like, yeah. Or you know, you could just use protection cube. That'd be more yeah. Sensible. That's also rotated. So yeah, well they both are. To be yeah, honest. that's true. <laughs> I really like the GX attack though. Uh, lightning and colors to colors again. Hundred damage. They can't play any cards from their hand. I would want to do that every turn though. I know. I was like, it's the same as the GX one off. That's a bit pants as a one-off. If it was a normal attack, it'd be actually all right. It'd be balanced because of the attack cost. Would it? Wouldn't it? Well, if you... If you I don't know. But they're, they're, you'll find some stupid way to accelerate... I'll find some stupid way to accelerate energy I mean, it's it. stage two. You'd have to and use Electrode board, and DCE. If their board states are bad, well, it's not that bad, is it? You can There's also stage two. two. You're going to do I all of that turn three. two. I'll do all that turn three. You watch me. <laughs> I'm and then if intrigued. their board state's not amazing, that's that's them out of the game for the rest of the game. Because they ain't going to get to... Well, they literally aren't going to get to play. The problem is, like, if, if you're doing the deck out game, if you've got less cards in your deck, setting this mm. thing up, and they've just drawn past, if you don't let them play any cards in the hand, you're just going to deck out. As soon, eventually, you'll just end yourself into a loss. You're doing 100 damage a turn. You're going to... Oh, if, that's true. If yeah, you okay. don't win on prizes, <laughs> something is seriously wrong there. <laughs> That is some crazy healing deck where they get to play no cards from their hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Emolga colours put three basic energy from discard to your hand and 30 for one switch with a lightning Pokemon. So it has to be a lightning Pokemon you switch to. It's a nice, energy catch is nice, but I, I don't see it being no. useful ever. Could be cool as a one of in Magnazone. If Magnazone becomes good, then it, well, yeah, it could be amazing. Yeah. But. No. Uh, I really Energy like the Ghastly line, so let's, let's have a look at that. Ghastly, put, cool. Ghastly Snipe 1's good, and Haunter Snipe, Snipe 2, two, if they have any damage on it. It's got though. Yeah. Gengar's really cool. It's basically the old conductivity on Ampharos. So whenever your opponent attaches an energy from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counts on it. And it stacks. It's neat. And it stacks. So 80 damage if you have four Gengar and play to anything that attaches energy. I'm not hot on the artwork on this one. Really? I quite like it. Nah. It's hiding behind a bookcase. I don't like it. It's okay, a, wall. a brick wall and a fence. It's like, ooh, he's like, it's like he's trying to creep down the alleyway, but he doesn't quite fit. He's like, your deck has had 65 cards. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so that's a really cool ability. Oh, the attack's pretty if good. If you as combo, well. it's got free retreat as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And if you combo with Potown. So if they evolve, they take damage. If they attach energy, they take damage. Mm, poo down. And you just constantly miraculous shine. You don't have to do anything else. That's true. You can just leave it on the bench, can't yeah. you? You don't have to bother doing anything with it. Just leave mm. it on the bench and pretend it's... Well, don't pretend you it's You could attack there, a Haunter but... if you really want to. Mm, yes. Put damage counts on, on each of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage on it. So spread. Oh, oh so you can just leave a Gengar on a bench and... Yeah. Well, to be fair... You can use Shining Celebi to copy the Haunter's attack through the Gengar if yeah. you really need to. Yeah, it gives it that extra health, doesn't it? You, you might as well just spread it with Coco, though, to be honest. That's true. Because it does it to literally everything rather than stuff with damage. Mistrevious Auto Confusion. That's nice. Gengar has Auto Confusion as well. Do you see that? Uh, wow. 70 and Auto Confusion. Psychic, That's nice. Psychic DC is pretty it's good, too. It's not a bad attack cost. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's definitely playable. Uh, Chaos Wheels back. 30 damage. They can't play any tool, special energy, or stadium from their hand. For a single Psychic. Single Psychic. And uh, it's Wallyable. <laughs> <laughs> Wallyable. Wallyable. You can wally it. Have you? Right. Um, you can... <laughs> oh, his second attack is pretty good as well. So for an extra DCE, it does twenty damage for each card in their hand. Can you make your opponent draw cards? They draw for the start of the turn. It's not and they're, they're, idea, like, they're but... holding the tools such an stadium, aren't they? Mm, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. I'm tr- curious why this spunk is oh, it's like dead in the river or something. Or, or oh, dead. yeah, it's floating in a river, isn't it? I, I don't know. It's either that or something seriously wrong with it. That's probably, well, Spoink's Pokedex entry, if it stops bouncing, it dies. Maybe it just stopped. Or it's definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> something not right with that Spoink. Uh, Grumpy, can't be confused. 
So screw you, Gengar. Even though you're hitting it for 140 and it's it dead not anyway. <laughs> the most exciting ability in the world. Psycho, 60 damage does 60 more damage. I quite like those kind of attacks, but they never really take off, do they? No. Maybe because they're on crap Pokemon that don't do anything. Maybe they give them the side yeah. eyelet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is Trimeco I've had a lot about. 10 damage. Your opponent can't play any Pokemon that has an ability from their hand during their turn. Oh, that's quite cool. So they okay. can't Lele, which is really, really good. They can't play Guardi. They can't play Vigavolt. They can't play Metagross. Wow, that stops a lot. Um, what else can't they play? They can't play... Um, slows a lot of stuff down. They can't play Garbatoxin Garb. Oh, how funny. Then again, they're probably just going to be hitting you with Drampa. They probably will be, but it's funny. It does 10 damage, so that's 40 with the band. Oh, boy. 82 and SB on GX. Three shot it with a Kimiko. Oh my oh, god, they man. can't play Eevee. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's going to have some niche play against some certain archetype that someone's yeah. not going to like, isn't it? Someone's going to be useful with that. Pumpkaboo, choose a random card in opponent's hand, reveals it and shuffles it in. Always good. Especially in pre-release. Uh, is it? You're going to hit an energy, let's be honest. That's true. Uh, confuse, like, auto. there's a lot of auto-confusion. Oh, there is, isn't there? A lot of confusion. And DC, 10 damage, for doing damage, you may discard any number of tool cards from your Pokemon, and that's 40 more for each you already discarded. It's a very seasonal, seasonal attack. Yeah. It's come out at the right time of year. Looks cool. It does look cool. I've never really looked at Girl Guys before. Mm. It's like a sprouted pumpkin. Pretty much. A bit weird. Uh, the DC attack, you never want to discard your own tools, so it's just, it's just it's never going to be played. Yeah. That's, <laughs> no, not going to happen. Psychic, no. Psychic to land it is auto burn for a psychic energy, which that's is... a bit weird. It's poison fire type, so... Yeah, I don't like that. I think it should be fire type. Looks weird. It does look weird. <laughs> uh, I really like this. This uh, well comes out as a um, promo for pre-release as well, that we've talked a lot about. It's a nice looking card. Yeah. Uh, one psychic, search day for any two cards put in your hand. Really good. Uh, one psychic again, it, uh, they're poison, put four in between turns. That's... With that's four survivor nice. in play, that's eight between turns. For a single psychic energy. Yep. That's pretty nasty. So that could be quite cool, especially with uh, the bank and expanded. That's ridiculous. That's like, what, 100 in between turns for one psychic? Mm-hmm. Assuming yeah. you have a wall force of IP, yeah. of course. Uh, Aranga is a psychic type this time. Fixer of the forest. <laughs> Put wow. three tool cards you can discard pile into your hand. Okay, so if you all right. if you discard them all with Gore Ghost and then swap and then attack with Aranga and get them all back, it's really cramp, but it could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> You attack every other turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like a 120. Woohoo. Oh, that's the first Ultra Beast we've seen. Oh, hello. So it's Nihiligo like Jellyfish. Yeah. Actually, it is a jellyfish. It is a jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. Quite expensive attack cost. Ability. When you play it, both actives are confused and, confused and poisoned. That's all right. Auto confusion again. That's kind of cool. I can, I can get on board with that. Three Psychic, 120. They can't retreat. Cool effect, but a bit expensive. Yeah. GX, three psychic again. Add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their prize cards. So that's cool. Especially if they've mallowed the turn before. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you can't have them. So. Hmm. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. Problem is, it's weak to psychic, so you're probably most likely to get knocked out. It's, you're hitting yeah. 90, God, he's hitting 90 already. A lot of things can hit 180 as a magic yeah. number. It's, it's really good, but it's, it's first attack lets it down. It's yeah. too expensive. Yeah. Even yeah. if it was too psychic, I think it probably still wouldn't get play. I don't think so. I mean, he, as it is, Guardi needs a psych, uh, fairy and a DC to kill it. You know, yeah. It doesn't do enough. Three step strike of Mankey. Three coins, ten for each heads. So I step up from double slap. Yeah. Well done, Mankey. He's just completely ignored the guys there. <laughs> Uh, primate. Oh, I wish they'd do is a this, good primate. Is this? They've gone back to plasticine yeah. Pokemon. Oh <laughs> God! Someone's cracked out the play doh <laughs> in Japan. The, look at the little um, anger mark on his forehead. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> veins. <laughs> <laughs> so DC thirty damage is terrible. Fighting, fighting, ninety damage, and it, it does thirty more to it. It's got ninety HP. You don't need to give it more damage. So bad. That's so tragic. they need to hit you for 60 what? so you need to hit you for 30 with weakness so weak psychic. Weak to psychic <laughs> well that's a kiwi acid spray after you've used Luchavite <laughs> that's so bad this is stupid isn't it 
That's awful. Oh, uh, tax to do 30 more before applying weakness resistance. So it does 80 without even using Kakui. <laughs> That's so <laughs> terrible. That's oh, here's the Cubone. So it evolves into That's the Marowak that we saw before. What does the Marowak do? It's uh, zero energy. Oh, yeah, get fire this, energy yeah. out. That was, that was neat. Uh, one colourless for the coin on paralysis is good. DC headbutt. No, that's you know, standard, yeah, standard basic. basic. Yeah. Uh, Regirock. So this is what we're talking about. The uh, Red Rocks have... Or all the Regis have synergy. That's cool. Art. That's not a hollow. I'm a bit disappointed. That's a, st- a uh, previous promo as well. Is it? That looks yeah. cool as a hollow. Hmm. Uh, the, the ability is your Reg steals attack do 10 more damage. To the active. To their active, yeah. That's a bit meh. The Reg steals actually alright. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, here's the gastrodon that, that shell us off, isn't it? That's you can have a Registeel and four Regirock. Yeah. Plus 40. Plus 40. Hmm. Plus 30 with ban. Might be okay. Probably won't, but it might be. Um, oh, Gastrodon. Wow, so, yeah. one's really fat. I think one's just closer. Uh, uh, they're underwater, though. It looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I think they are, yeah. They're sinking. That's why it's so sad. <laughs> uh, it's first time it's called Eerie Fluid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's auto confusion again. <laughs> yeah, what a fighting type. Bit weird. Earthquake 120, 10 to reach your bench. That's our standard earthquake. It's when they hit the bottom of the sea. <laughs> yeah. It's when they fall in. Oh, Stuffle's fighting time. Stuffle's fight. Oh, it looks... Oh, flop. Oh, that looks I'm cute. all up for a bit of flop. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you can get pills for that. <laughs> uh, the Beware. Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy. That is Fluffy. the most horrifically awful beware ever. It's, it's, oh, no. It t- takes like 30 it. less damage for everything that's not a fire type. <laughs> <laughs> so Please surely, don't set me fire. That should surely take 30 more from fire types. It just <laughs> sets itself alight. Uh, <laughs> That'd be great. For fighting DCE, 6 damage. If it's an evolved Pokemon, it's 60 more. That's okay. 120 for it's evolved. Not great, but you know. It's really yeah. not great, actually, the more I think about it. Can't even knock itself out. It wouldn't with Fluffy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now here's one of the cool cards from the set, Buzzword GX. So much like its cousin Landorus, its first attack for a fight so, is 30 and 30 snipe. It's like a really fat hit uh, Machamp with only two arms. Um, yeah. A bit like an insect. It looks like Dr. E- Dr. Eggman from Sonic. His Dr. Face. Eggman. <laughs> 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 You're not familiar with Sonic. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm sure he was not called Dr. Eggman. I'm sure it was Eggman. It was not Eggman. <laughs> oh, we'll debate this later. Oh, Christ. Let us know in the comments what it is. It was, I think it was Robotnik and then Eggman. No, oh, it was Dr. Robotnik, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Then Eggman. they changed it. It is Eggman. I'm sure there's no one Eggman. <laughs> there is not an Eggman. Anyway. Right, Egg- anyway. Eggman GX. So... <laughs> <laughs> the first attack is really, really good. That's There's no, t- reprint, no two ways about that. That's a Landorus. Yeah. Same attack cost, too. It's second and third attack for three fighting is a bit expensive. It's a bit hard to get out because there's no acceleration for fighting yeah. past Carbink. What did uh, what did what did Lander's Judgment do? Fighting, fighting, colourless, 80. Discard all your energy, does 70 more. Well, so the same one, sort of thing. This one does 160 and it can't attack. So it's actually better in terms of... 10 more damage out, but the it does discard energy... But well, the attack costs. Again, it's like, uh. So you have to manually attach three energy, unless you use yeah, like yeah. Max Elixir or something. Uh, Absorption's also pretty cool, so it does 40 damage to each of your remaining prize cards. So the earlier you do it, the better. Yeah, you've it's got to be, it really has to be your first attack of the game, because otherwise it's pants. Um, if you've got five prize left, it's right. If you go down to four, it's like, nah. It's, if you go down to four, it's 160. If you have a strong energy, it's 180. But the uh, perks of using... The GX over the normal one is do you can attack next turn? Attack next turn yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You really need to use it early again. But getting three energy on it to use it as like first, second attack of the game is just hard, isn't it? Yeah. That's hard. But it's a really cool GX. It's one worth picking up, definitely. Uh, Hounder and Houndoom. Oh, cool. Uh, dark, colourless, 30 damage, and they're auto burned. I like how burned is starting to come back. Yeah, they're starting to introduce everything now, aren't they? I'm not, Looks I'm not cool. convinced to like the artwork on that. Oh, I quite like it. Nah. And then Dark DC, 90 damage, not affected by resistance. It's alright. So it's another expensive attack. It's not great, nothing mm-hmm. special. Looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dino, Zvilos, and Hydreigon. So Dino and Zvilos literally just a whole for Hydreigon, mm, they're nothing special. special. Hydreigon, 160 HP. Ability, you may choose three events, but I'm going to discard the other ones. So you parallel yourself. Yeah. 
Well, it gives you bench space, doesn't it? Discard your Lele's out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be cool. That's all right. Dark Dark Colourless 120 damage. You may discard an energy from it. If you do discard an energy from your opponent's active. It's okay. That's not bad, actually. Normally, High Dragons take at least four energy to attack, but having mm. a three energy attack is nice. Yeah. It's not the worst attack in the world, but again, that's nothing fantastic. There's got to be something you can use the ability for. Yeah, discarding Lele's. <laughs> yeah, man, sorry. Maybe okay. there's an ability in the future where it's just like, if it's discarded, do this. I don't know what else you could use. Yeah, that would go well with ho Rainbow Burn EX thing from Dragons Exalted. Or just keep killing it and bring energy back. Well, if you if you end up like starting, if you're forced to banish one, you haven't got enough, you haven't got any energy. This is just a complete waste. So you can discard it, get rid of it, <laughs> and you can immediately. Uh, what was, is it rebirth? Rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. rebirth it and get the energy on it that you need. Uh, Can't the think of anything else. The third Ultra Beast is God's Lord. This is a good. The Pokemon. best pre-release card probably ever printed. I'm going to play this like competitive. <laughs> I'm going to make this work. Uh, one dark, discard the top five cards of your deck. If any of those are energy, attach them to this Pokemon. Is that, that's, is that an English? Actually, an English, that's the English card? That's the English card, yeah. Wow. That's the one they released at actually Worlds? actually not Japanish. Jap- <laughs> Japanish? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Oops. <laughs> it's got good attack names. Right. It's Are you like- sure it's not Americanish? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Garbador and Roids. Eat sloppily. I love the name. I like all of them. Uh, dark, 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 colourless, colourless, 180 straight. And is a GX for 5 dark, 100 damage. If you kill it, it does. you take two more prize cards. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, it's good. You just you nearly kill something. It's not something fantastic. And you take it's two extra prize cards. It's got 5 energy to attack. It's got 210 HP. When Guardi already hits it for one, just, 180 with its own Just don't colours. play against Guardi and you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, I can't play this matchup. I'm not meant to play against Guardi. Glutton GX. If they, if you get five energy on that, they can't even throw up a sacrifice. They throw up their stupid little routes. You get three prizes off that. That's oh, ridiculous. Oh, you can use wages of fluff beforehand. Exactly. As well. Take six prizes in an attack. Wages of fluff takes two more, so you take yeah. one plus two plus two is five. Yeah, you'd have to kill a GX, which is a bit of a thing. You'd have to half kill it, switch into Whimsicott. Yeah. Wages of fluff, and then glutton it. For six, which is a bit of a chore. If you want something that's uh, or an EX or GX that's 190 HP, you do 180 and it leaves it with 10. Then wages a fluff and then glutton. <laughs> <laughs> really, really expensive and really hard so to pull off. But, yeah, but it's not, just, you know, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. You, I'm, I, you can max elix to it. You can dark patch to it. I'm going to use a shining mew on it. I don't know. <laughs> a 30 it's HP to be... power up a 210 stupid yeah. monster. I really want to key our way to it, but. <laughs> There's got to be a way you can exchange fire for dark energy or something. Smeagol. Yeah, that Smeagol's terrible. Yeah, Smeagol. Yeah. yeah, but then you've got to discard your dark energy and have a load of Smeagol down to switch them. That's, that's a chore. Uh, Morwile, call for family, so deck for two basics. That's bench. good. That's always that's good, good, isn't it? I don't understand. Like the, we, We've had this massive power creep, right? And there's been Dunsparce in Sandstorm, which benches three basics. Yeah. Why do we never see anything at Benches 3 Basics again? You don't really see a lot of starting Pokemon, like you, your Smeagles, your Morwars, your Chatots. We've seen this power creep, and you've got, oh, it's like a Dunsparce, but worse. Surely you should bench like five. Well, we want Playground Pichu back. That'd be, yes, <laughs> that'd do. Uh, Aron and Leron, just evolve into Aggron. Revenge Dragon Cannon, do. 10 damage, just 10 more for each damage card on all of your Ooh, bench Pokemon. That's nice. Oh, I see you're playing Tapu Coco. That's right, you keep spreading, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eventually revenge deep. cannon. And then boss a swing for 4, 120, no That's resistance. That's special. No. So, there we go. Hey, HP's not great either, 170 on a stage 2. Uh, 170 on a non-GX is really good. Well, it is, but, you know, it's just within reach and distance of everything. Looks cool. It does look alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, the Reg of Steel. Oh, was that the Arkham? It's just... This guy, strange, this, this right, guy's like, come on, Rich, I'll do your thing. He's like, no, feed me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where did the food a bit come? It's a machine. Where's the food even go? He's like, bitch, you're a human. I'm just going to slap you. <laughs> uh, turbo one for one metal, 30, and attach a basic energy from your discard to one of your bench. That's how you power up Guzzlord. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to metal and dark. <laughs> so 30 damage... Times two on our routes of 60, which one kills it. Goes up to 70 if you've got Reggie Rocks down. It goes up to... Because you know, Reggie Rocks is before. 
So it goes up to 80 to kill a Curlier if one red drop down. Yeah. If you have 30 plus band is 60. Or th- yeah. Plus four red drop is 100. So there's 200 to Guardi. It's a bit upsetting, isn't it? I think that's it, yeah. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven yeah. hundred times two, yeah. It's not great. So you can play it with Potown, and then you can kill all three stages with one energy. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. But, yeah. It's literally only there to kill Guardi. There's not anything else I can it see. It touches any type of basic energy, which is good. It's not just, doesn't just accelerate metal, it'll accelerate anything, which is yeah. nice. But it's, mm, mm, don't know what you'd put it with. There's a Red Rock in the set as well, so we'll have a look at that later. Here's the, um... Oh, let's go over let's here. Give the uh, quick evolvey thing. So you quickly evolve it. It's got a one energy metal attack. Three flip three coins, thirty damage for each heads. So that's, a, that's a letdown. That's a shame. Even if it did thirty damage, and then plus thirty for every heads, just like guaranteed that'd, damage. That'd at least be a little bit playable. Yeah. but it's just flip three for thirty. No, not and happening. Iron tackle two metal. The colors one thirty does thirty to itself. It's only one hundred and twenty HP. That's pretty poor. You evolve it quickly, and then it's just disappointing. Yeah, that's bad. It's all right in a pre-release. Yeah, even though it's not that great. Uh, Ultra Beast number four is Kartana. Oh, that's cool. Ability: When you play it from your hand to your bench, you may discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Definitely useful. That's really, really good and expanded with Toad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And AZ, so you keep picking up and spamming their special energy. Uh, Gale Blade Metal Double Colors seventy, and you may shuffle it back into your deck. So you may, you don't have to. It's yeah. an option. That's cool, and it's 100 with band, isn't it? Yeah. So that's always good. HP's not special, though, 170. Mm. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like a a fragile it's thing, it looks like, isn't it? Utility player. It looks like a paper warrior. <laughs> <laughs> and it's GX, one metal, take a prize. Simple as that. It's, it's going to be like a one of in Metagross or something, isn't it? Well, you can play it as a one of in Rainbow decks, can't you? You can play things play Rainbow Energy. Yeah, that's true, yeah. It's- Grab a, grab your last prize quickly, or could be called in a uh, Drampa Garb over in Hearts Hammer, maybe. Possible, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. If you, lot, play, lot you can cool use it. Stack a rainbow one in Acer Elder to reuse it, I suppose. Humphreys would be happy. We've got another Jigglypuff. He looks pretty well. It's amazed at something. It's the uh, Ultra Wormhole thing that the Ultra Beasts come through. It's oh. like holy shit, something's going down. It's not quite looking the right direction. Mm, that's true. Uh, <laughs> really tough. Oh, wow. someone's written a 65 wow. card deck list. <laughs> <laughs> the Weedle, look, there he is. He's written it. He's like, oh, oh dear. Oh, shizzle. There's no Weedle in this set, is there? Yes, there is. Yeah, it's probably the first card. Uh, Hypnoblast for a DC 30 in the auto sleep, which is okay. actually right. Yeah. Uh, Fairy DC 60. If any of your opponent's Pokemon has any dark energy attached to them, wow. 60 more. So I found the. Um, <laughs> the answer to Guzzlord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing special, is it? No. Oh, it's a oh that's a nice set. artwork. It's exceptionally blurry. blurry, nice artwork. Might be terrible. Uh, colourless, search deck for a supporter and put it in your hand. I always like that kind of thing. That's on... Um, is it Florges has that? Florges EX, yeah. yeah. I like that. And then Fairy 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 130, and I can't use the bright horns oh, next turn. God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What? No. <laughs> so we'll go past that. No. Uh, Alone in the Kentucky Got EX is Dragon Type. I don't like that. And it's got 220 HP. So automatically being dragon type is weak to fairy. So it's, not it's good at the moment. automatically losing to the best deck in format for now. Uh, I really like the attacks though. So one grass, there's 20 times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon to one of the opponent's Pokemon. So for every grass energy, there's a 20 snipe to a Pokemon. Snipe, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But you compare it quite well with the Shining Legends Venusaur, which doubles grass energy. So for two grass energy, it's essentially four. Mm-hmm. You're doing 80 snipe. Stage two and stage one or something. Yeah, yeah. even eighty snipe isn't that fantastic, though, is it? No, but we'll, we'll, so. when you go down to the other attacks, uh, grass three colorless one twenty. They're auto confused, oh, of course. That's good. And then the GX is color, uh, the same cost, one eighty, and then move your energy around. It's a bit random, isn't it? Well, you can. For, that's basically for two grass with Venusaur in play, isn't it? Yeah, if you've got Venusaur down, actually, that's really reasonable. You can max flex it to your bench and then move them all to the executor to start sniping. Mm, yeah, um, someone's going to play something. I don't, I don't think it's going to be amazing, but there's, there's going to be decks made around that. Yeah, it could there? be something fun. I Ooh, think it's English. It just looks cool, doesn't it? It's a cool looking Pokemon, I'll give it that. Yeah. Considering it's supposed to be a half art. Yeah. Uh, Jangmo Hakamo, that must mean there's a Como O. Let's oh, see if it's any good. Boy. 
DC 30 damage. If you have fewer Pokemon to play your opponent, it does 90 more. That's not bad. It's not awful. It's not great. I like the other stage actually. too. That's cool artwork. 160 that. HP. Yeah, Dragon right. type again, which we just said about. Yeah. Uh, Lightning fighting colorless, 130, and this Pokemon takes 30 more damage. No, but... So that's, that's just not good. So if you have fewer Pokemon in place, that's that's pretty cool. That's quite cool. I like that. That is a way how you you, you, play, you play Starmie. Or Hydreigon. You evolve to Starmie or Hydreigon and shuffle it away again. Yeah. Just 120 for DC, 150 of the band. It's not great, is it? It's interesting, but it's not great. Yeah, it could be fun. Moo Moo Malt. I like this. This uh, sounds good already. So, Mill Tank, as long as it's active, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've heard a lot of people thinking about playing it in Guardi. What do you think about that? It's got to be active. It's terrible. Yeah. That that's the issue. Yeah, I suppose you if you want to kill something, I suppose you can you can change Guzma into like a Lysander though, because that, that stacks and it says whenever you attach them. So it's quite cool. You can Secret Spring heal multiple times. I suppose you can if you've got your Guardian active as damaged, mm-hmm. you can Guzma something you want to kill on the bench. Lobby Mill Tank in, j- jam a Float Stone on it, Secret Spring some energy on your Guardian to heal it, and then free retreat back to your Guardian. That's quite cool. Yeah. Other than that, it's just I have it's no very idea it's what situation, isn't it? Thought. Yeah, at best. Yeah, and then sit down splash sixty if you flip heads as thirty. So, uh, Swablu evolves into Altaria. It's got fifty HP though, which I'm pretty sure is the most death Swablu's I've had. It's normally forty of standard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, Peck. Oh yeah, it is Peck it as is well. Peck, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, good guess. Uh, Dragon Melody flip a coin if heads search a deck for a Dragon Pokemon and play it on your bench. Oh my play god, that's good. Bench. So that's any Dragon Pokemon. Oh, you can put. Komo O, straight yeah. to the bench. Don't know why you'd want to do that. And then that, 30 damage, good. 30 less from attacks next turn. So know. on a coin flip, you get any dragon Pokemon put on your bench. That's actually funny. That's uh, upsettingly, I think the best dragon Pokemon is probably Komo O. Dragons. It's uh, going to be a stage two to make it worthwhile. If, um, so otherwise you just wouldn't... If a stage one, you wouldn't bother with Altaria. If and when Guardi stops being the best deck in format, you can put Noiva and Jex on the bench. I don't know stage. why you wouldn't. I don't know why you wouldn't just evolve it from yeah, like that. Yeah. But because you've got a Swablu, then evolve it into Altaria, then hit a heads on a coin flip. Yeah, you might as well just, just dump down a Noivern and evolve that. It's a cool option to have, though, isn't it? Yeah. If you could search for, if it's flip the coin and search for two Dragon Pokemon, then not consider it. Uh, so. Starly reveals their hand, which is all right for a colorless. Show me your hand. That's all right, isn't it? Uh, Star Reviewer and then Star Raptor. DC instant. Can't retreat. Uh, it's, it's meant to do fifty damage according to the card, but Poke Beach haven't translated properly. I'm saying normally it does damage. I was expecting forty, so fifty yeah. is alright. You know, nothing special. Uh, quadruple colorless, one twenty. If you're active and knocked out by damage this attack, you may switch this. But okay, so if you kill it, you switch the Star Raptor. That's a bit rubbish. It stops again, KO'd. I guess. Oh boy! Only when you kill them, though. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, we'll skip that. No, terrible. Ooh, Bridge of Gigas. 180 HP, basic. Uh, ability. This Pokemon can't attack unless you have Regirock, Regice, and Registeel on your bench. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Regitech then. <laughs> and then five colourless, 160, and discard a stadium. It's got to be powered up by Shining Mew for double DCE. That's... It powers up by Registeel, doesn't it? Oh, I suppose you can, yeah. Is that something only attaches basic energy? That's, yeah. that's going to be a slow charge up for only a 160. So you could play it with like Shining Mew and then Garbodor. They just Garbodor and shut the ability off. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, please don't discard my tool. I need my abilities locked. <laughs> 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 if they feel blower, you're screwed because you can't attack. You can't attack. That's quite funny. If you're out of tools or kill the Garbodor, that's that's it. That's funny. Game over. <laughs> uh, tickle. Flip coin of heads. Sounds good. Paralyzed. Hmm. 10 damage as well. That's okay. Oh, Chinchino. Amazing plea. Oh, Choose wow. two cards from your discard pile, then ask your opponent if you may have them. If yes, put them in your hand. If no, it does 80 damage to your act- their active. For one colourless, that's pretty neat. That's funny. I like that. If, if you're going first and they've got one Pokemon and yeah. you've just like discarded a load of stuff, you like you wally into it. You get, right, yeah. let me have these cards or you die. <laughs> 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 it's like a threat more than anything. <laughs> it's quite funny. It reminds me of the old Cedric Juniper. Yeah, let, let it's me, like making making your opponent have to do things during your turn. It's like make them think. Yeah. Let me have double puzzle, or I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diggersby, one thirty, three colour, sixty damage, and then 
on a coin flip of heads, you prevent all effects of attacks, mm. including damage. All right. It's the usual dig that it has, isn't it? Yeah. And then hammer out for 90, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. I like discarding cards. I play a... Uh, oh my god, look, it looks so sad, though. It is so happy with I've itself. just eaten all the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Diggers be though. Oh, it's never going to dig a hole again, it'll never fit in it. Uh, Type Null's actually really interesting, because it evolves into the Zill Valley, but we'll get that to that Which in a minute. Which this got? Type Null's got 110 Diggers. HP... Which is really, really good. For a double class, it does 30, and then it takes 30 less damage. Mm. So as a, as a basic that evolves For into a, a GX, basic. it's a really good. Mm. And speaking of really good, here's Sil Valley. Uh, 210 HP, so it's a standard for a GX stage 1. Ability, all your basic Pokemon have free retreat. That's all right. So that's, yeah, yeah okay. that's always handy. Doesn't affect itself, that's a bit daft. Yeah. Retreat cost of two. Yeah. Retreat of two, so... You... Yeah, it works all right. Yeah. Uh, colourless, 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 120. Attach a basic energy from your discard to one of your bench. That's good. Re- that's good really damage good. damage and set stuff up. It's always good. So you'd always use DCE for that two retreat cost, so you're covered. And it's GX attack does 50 times the amount of their bench to their active. 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So exactly okay. like uh, like yeah. Rock GX's yep. Dangerous Rogue. Really, really good card. It also has Strong tools deck. that we'll look at down below. So just keep an eye out for that one at pre-releases. I like quite like Counter Catcher here. Uh, if you have more prize cards left, it's basically you auto-switch them for an item card. That's all right, isn't it? That's going to be like a one or two of in most things, isn't it? Yeah. If you think of stuff like stall decks as well, so Quad Wobbuffet, they never take prizes. Yeah. It's a constant bring up your it's bench Pokemon. a threat then. Yeah. yeah. Dash Pouch is interesting. So, strange name. Uh, whenever, uh, so you attach, attach it to a Pokemon. Whenever that Pokemon retreats, you put the energy in hand instead of discarding. Oh, that's not even basic energy. That's just put that energy. Put that energy, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. So that's mm. something to bear in mind. Devoured Field, your Dark and Dragon Pokemon do 10 more. It's okay. interesting that yeah. Dragon gets a little little boost from a stadium. It's interesting yeah. that, because we, we all speculated that Double Dragon would be back because of the stadium. But they haven't brought it back, and they've made dragon types do ten more. Except they're cool, they're quite irrelevant because yeah. there's no double dragon energy. That's a bit upsetting. So no, it's like Meta Stage that let Dark do ten more damage as well. Mm. That's, a, that's the third one. Yeah. Uh, so here's the uh, m- the memory tools that I was sort of talking about with Sil Valley. So uh, it makes its little mohawk thing turn different colours. Ooh. And it says the Sil Valley GX this card attached here is now a fighting type. So, it's obviously colourless. It does 120 for 3 colourless energy. So, any energy and a DCE. Mm. If you make it any type, it does 240 to hit weakness. That's, um, yeah. If, if you can get the right At the moment, type if, if the, there's only them, Psychic and Fighting at the moment from this set, but future sets will have them released because it's been confirmed with the Water and... F- not Water. Fire and Lightning next set. So, they're going to release an like ongoing that. thing. Yeah. That's well, a bit of a pain, isn't it? Well, so Valley comes out as a promo, so I don't think it will rotate with that yeah, block. So enough. Strange at one Pokemon. I, I imagine that Silver Valley is going to have several prints in the upcoming sets, yeah. then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gladion. I really like relevant. Gladion. It doesn't look very cool. But... Wow, that is not a. I don't. I don't know if it's male or female. It could be anything. <laughs> I. I don't like it. No, it's hairs just off. It's half bald. Gender division with bald. Alex. <laughs> So it's it's in my opinion this is the best one off supporter in, in the game. So you look at your face down prizes, put one of them in your hand, so you don't actually have to show that your opponent what you got, then shuffle the Gladion into that slot into your prizes, shuffle them up and put them back. Oh, you shuffle your so you can't so you, you can't stack your prizes, you shuffle it in you shuffle it you in. shuffle your prizes. Oh but that's upsetting. The best thing about being it being a one off is it never gets discarded unless you have to discard it yourself manually. So you play it get a card back and then shuffle the Gladion into your prizes. So you then draw the Gladion from prizes. So you swap the Gladion with, with your... Yeah. The Gladion in your hand with one of your prizes, basically. Yeah. So, uh, if it's prized, it doesn't matter. You know, you're going to draw it and use it. And if you use it and then take it off a prize, you then do it again because you've got the knowledge of what's in your prizes. Would you, would you want to use that as your support of a turn, though? If you think about it this way, so you, you, you're going first, you tap your Lele, you're searching for your Bridget for your deck. Mm. Your Bridget's prized. So you grab your Gladion, and the next turn you Gladion for your Bridget. Mm, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it, do, okay. it does take you a while to then do that, but the information you get from 
your prizes and your deck. You yeah. should know where everything is, and you can grab it any time with Lele Gladion. But if you if you're playing one Bridget, you've got a ten percent chance of prize no Bridget. Yeah, is especially if you, if you're playing a best of three from it. Is it worth having a slot for Gladion? No, there's only a ten percent. You're gonna use it in ten percent of your games. Yeah, uh, is it worth that deck slot? In my opinion, yeah, because you're not going to use it for the... That was just an example. You could use it for other things, I mean, you, but... Yeah. If there's sure. an amount of time where I'm looking for something to do the deck and it's prized. Yeah. So I just think, okay, I can lay for Gladion later in the game to grab it. Yeah. So, you know, I think it has its uses. Yeah, but I'm sure for, for most stuff that, you, that you're going to worry about prize, but you're going to play multiple copies of to try yeah. and you know, yeah. negate that issue anyway. So, um, I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it. Yeah. I'll probably play it. It's worth but, testing, isn't you know. It? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, I quite like Lusamine as well. Lusamine is waifu. Look at that hair. I don't know. It's like it's made out of cardboard. <laughs> Not keen on that either. <laughs> <laughs> it's got far too much hairspray in it. Uh, Lusamine, put two in any combination of support and stadium into your discard to your hand. Like I said before, it's, it's quite good. Really stadium good. Stadium backs is unusual as well. I like that. Yeah. It's like is it is it like Scott back in the day? Scott. Did, uh, no, Scott was... Stadium supporter and, and something else. It was a third thing. Yeah. Was it three in any combination of? Yeah. Was it? Oh, this is going to be a... Uh, I don't know. Hmm. You have to quickly Google that. Yeah. So, Scott, it's search, definitely a search for three. Um, to bear with us, folks. Some emerald. It's quite a popular card, are they? Combination of supporter cards, stadium cards. So it was just oh, it's three and, in any combination. So it's any three. Supporters and stadiums. But it's from your deck. Is it from deck? It's from deck. Ah, okay. Not discard. So at mean I think could be really cool. I'll go back to my quad wob um, scenario. If you... The problem with quad wob at the moment is it lost VS Seeker. So it lost some yeah, of its tempo to get the rockets hideout really or stuff. wherever it is back. Yeah. So you know Lusamine... Uh, what is it? Team Rocket's handiwork. So you get two of them back constantly to discard the cards. Yeah, yeah. So I, th- I think it's pretty cool. Psychic memory turns to Valley Psychic type. Exciting. Peeping red card. Peeping. <laughs> wow. Uh, you look at their hand. You may count the number of cards in their hand and then shuffle those cards into the deck. Then draw that many cards. Hang on. You say so you, the opponent counts the cards, shuffles them in, and draws that many. That's a bit rubbish. So you you show the so hand and you essentially like do you like your hand? Oh, so it's optional. You yeah. don't have to make them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. As an item, that's quite cool. It's cool as an item. That's a bit like Lucas. Lucas investigation. Lucas was better. Well, yes, it was. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, um, I, I like yeah. the stadium. Special conditions are not removed when you uh, Pokemon evolve or devolve. That's any special condition. If you're playing a special condition deck, obviously that's quite. Well, neat, think isn't about it? the amount of cards that auto confuse. Yeah. And they stay confused and they evolve. Yeah. Oh, that's painful. They they keep the severe poison from that salazzle. Oh, so they have to. They're forced to retreat, basically, aren't they? Yeah. Forced to switch out. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. I really like counter energy as well. So it's a bit like uh, scramble energy was. Back in the day, so if you have more prize cards left, uh, you attach it to a Pokemon that's not a GX or EX, and it provides two of any energy. Just double rainbow if you're losing. Pretty much. Otherwise, and, it's and it, doesn't, it doesn't uh, reduce damage either. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, because that reduced damage by 10, the old one, didn't it? Yeah. But does, does it have to be attached to an EX or GX, is not it? Uh, non. So it's got EX, to be GX. a non EX, yeah. GX. Uh, yeah. So you've got a couple yeah. of examples. Mm. I've been hearing stuff like Cabalion. So for double metal, it does 30 plus 30 every type prize card they've taken. Yeah. Pseudo Widow, Watch and Learn, it does the same attack yeah. as they did. Mimikyu. That's quite cool. Same thing. You could use it in uh, the Electro decks, kill Electrode and get double rainbow. You, yeah, Electrode Raikou. So yeah. you, you get your double rainbow and your Electrode onto the Raikou. Yeah. It's four and essentially it's four and your attachment in a turn. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, that's yeah. painful. So that's, that's a lot. That's cool. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Uh, here's the full oh, out of the. So look, its Garrus. mouth is still open. <laughs> <laughs> the important facts. I don't know. I'm not oh. That's like Lapras full art as, as a like card, that, but that's just got Gyarados on it. Nah, I like it. Boring. Uh, Lulu and Golem. Mario oh, Bowser. That's it's almost like his, his little horn at the back. Almost looks like he's got a hat on. It's like that was a little <laughs> Russian fez on his head, still with his little <laughs> Russian <laughs> moustache. Russian fez. <laughs> <laughs> Russian Golem. That's what he's gonna be. Big jelly. That is cool. Big jelly, swirly man. jelly. Offspring. Mm. Offspring. 
Jellyman. Jellyman. I like it. Oh, I, I like Buzz Roll, but I don't like the full art. Mm, I don't even know where its head is. Its head is like at the top here. Oh, like the little spiky, pointy thing the on the top. The little Eggman eyes. No, I don't like that. A bit weird. Yeah, just a little... Nope. Maybe, probably, might, it might look better in person, but I'm not a fan of it there. Guzzlord looks exactly the same. Yep. Yeah, not a fan of that either, actually. No. Hopefully it looks better and there's a real card. It's too bluey, not enough black. I quite like Cartana. Mm, it's got like a swirly okay. steel thing in the background. They're all quite swirly, the full artists. It's like the little running theme, this set, yeah. isn't it? thing is, the Ultra Beasts look the same as half art as they do full art. Yeah. That's the problem they have. I quite like this. That's quite cool. A bit different. Yeah. It's um, its body is at the bottom yeah. rather than its head this time. I always think the uh, the full arts look a bit flat. Hmm. Sure, I'm not kidding. Although saying that, looking at this one, I quite like that's, that. That's quite cool. Maybe it's just because we're seeing it. Cause they're scanned copies, aren't they? I suppose that's true. So maybe that's just the reason. Well, quite, Ooh, quite this looks nice. Yeah. It's got yeah. someone's fingers in it as well. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's Big actually printed things. on the card. That'd be amazing. <laughs> On someone's fingers. He looks like he's having some sort of hand problems. Yeah. So it's like, oh, oh, wow. hand. The um, I quite like that. A similar kind of things like with the old full art iris. I like the full art when they've got more than one colour on them. Yeah. I, I think, think it looks better. like um, a bit contrast in the background. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I really like this card. Oh. Yeah. So hot. Nah. <laughs> Boring. I feel like Olivia. What does Olivia do? Search that for 2GX. Oh, it's like Bridget, but worse. Brilliant. Yeah, it's just... Goes my, to hand. Might yeah. be in the future usable. Yeah. Rainbow Gardos. Rainbow Golem. Exactly all the same, but rainbows. What are the secrets in this? Uh, let's find out. Do you, oh, here we go. Counter Catcher. Oh. Wishful yeah, Baton. Okay. Oh, Counter that's... Energy. Wishful Baton looks like nice artwork. Nice, Warp uh... Energy. So this Quite was nice. in Shining Legends. When you attach it to your active, you may switch it with your bench. Mm-hmm. And water, no metal. Just water. No metal. So they're not reprinting Secret Energy by the looks of it. Yay! I thought that might be the case. So you're yeah, actually yeah. still well invested. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah that'd that, be stupid to keep printing them. That is all of the cards in the Crimson Innovation set. I like that. That's. I don't know, just red at the bottom, green at the top. It's too. That's if if that's actually the way it is, and it's not just how it scans. Uh, it's, it's, really like it's green around the um, border at the top as well, so yeah. maybe that's just not it. I, I hope it's like that, and it's not just a funny scan because yeah. I'd really like that. That looks cool. Right, guys. Well, thank you very much for listening to us babble on for God knows how long we've been doing this now. Probably <laughs> over an hour. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe on our videos if you did like them so we can keep creating the content for you uh, but for now I've been Tubbs and this has been mm, testing mm, testing see you next time anyway, anyway.